it's Wendy. This is a really impromptu YouTube video for you. Um, I did a periscope on this, but I really wanted to do it here on YouTube also because I think this is such a fantastic thing that I want everyone to know about it. So first of all, I have made some investment into getting Copic markers because I absolutely love coloring and I think that Stampin' Up! has some beautiful outline images to color and so um, I'm going to start using Copic markers in a lot of my videos, but I'm learning. This is a learning curve for me, um, so hang with me on it. And this is the first, well, this isn't the first set I bought. The first ones I bought were these. So I just bought them in the three packs at Michael's to see if I would even like them. And I did. I absolutely loved them. So I went ahead and got three three packs from Michael's. And then I decided it would be less expensive to just purchase them on Amazon in bulk. So that's what I've done. And I got this big set. And then I found Sandy Alnock, who is amazing. I actually found her through Christina Werner. And she... Um, does this cool hex chart where you get one blank and one completely filled in so you know which ones you own already so basically all you do is you take out your color and for example I'm gonna zoom in for example this is RV 11 so then you go on your chart and you find RV 11 which should be around here somewhere RV 13 RV 10 Here's RV11 right here. So then I'm just going to color in that hex. And now I know that I own that color. So if I'm going to purchase markers, I can look at this chart super quick and know that I already own it. So this is V09, which I happen to spot really quick right here. And the other cool thing about this is it kind of lets you see how the marker colors and kind of what it looks like. Um, so you can just keep referring back to it. This is Y15, which should be around in this area somewhere. There it is. And then that makes me giddy that I have a color that's close to it. So that's the cool thing, the way she did this hex chart. It shows you what blends the best together. So that's pretty exciting. This is YG03. YG03. I'm sure it's here in this area, right here. There it is. So I just love this chart and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I love the Copic markers. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they color really well. I tried out a few different ones. Um, I tried out um, twin. Let me get them out so I can show you. Before I settled on what I was going to purchase, I did try out these guys called Twin Touch Markers by Shin Han Art. My sweet friend Lydia Fiedler at understandblue.com sent me a bunch of these to try. And while I did really like them, um, they just did not feel as comfortable to me as the Copics. Now she's opposite. She prefers these markers over the Copic markers. So um, I, but I prefer the Copic. So she did send me uh, quite a few of these for me to try out and I thought that was just like the most generous thing ever. And then I tried out um, Spectrum Noir and I really did not care for it. The, the tube is really huge and I mean it's big. And so it just felt really uncomfortable in my hands. I have really small hands. And so it just, I don't know, was not my thing. And then I also tried out this type of Spectrum Noir, which has a little bit different shape. But it's also the, the cylinder for the pin is huge. So they just, I'll show you the difference in size. I mean, it's a pretty big, pretty big difference. These are kind of flat. These are big and round. See the difference? So for me personally, these just didn't work for me at all. Um, so I didn't care for those. So those are the markers that I've tried. And I have to say I settled in on the Copics because they really were my favorite. And a lot of the people that I watch and follow use Copics. So I felt that I would be able to learn really well on these. Um, because I would be able to kind of follow along with what they were doing if I had the same markers. So 
that's um, one of the th fun things that I have going on right now that I'm adding to my collection in my stamp room is um, fun markers and I will keep you posted and you'll be seeing some coloring from me because we have got some gorgeous outline stamp sets in our new catalog. So um, the holiday catalog, I got to see it while I was at Stampin' Up! convention and it's beautiful and it's going to be released um, in August. I can mail it out but you can order from it September 1st. So if you want to get your hands on a holiday catalog, just hit me up through my website at levenstampin.com and I can mail one to you. Um, I, I always send holiday catalogs and occasion catalogs completely free because they're not that expensive for me to purchase or mail. So if you're interested in getting your hands on one of those, um, just go ahead and message me and let me know. And I can't find B05. Oh, there it is. B05. So this has been really fun just coloring with you while I've been telling you about my new adventure here. And I hope that you stay tuned and keep watching my YouTube channel to see the, the stuff that I come out come up with with my markers. So remember to follow me on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button. You can also catch me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at either under Wendy Cranford or Love and Stampin'. And I like to do impromptu periscopes through Twitter, so if you follow me on Twitter, you might catch me live on there every once in a while. Alright, well, I am winding down here. I don't have very many left to color in, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in with me today for this quick, fun video. Go over to my blog if you want the links to how to get this hex chart and um, the information on where I bought my first set of Copic markers. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.